Hey guys, QT here with a video for Minecraft. Today I'm going to tell everybody how to solve this problem right here. I'm going to start up my Minecraft server and it's going, it's going, and next thing you know, boom! Failed to buy into port 25565. This thing's kind of hard to mess with because um, it's always going to to do that whenever you got another process for Minecraft running. One of the easiest ways to do this is to open up your task manager, go in there and find Java processes and stop them and um, try to free up the port. Another way is is I can also start it by changing 25565 to a different port like let's say 27747. Save that. Now let's start my Java again. There it goes. Now it's starting on 27747. But that still does not fix the fact that I don't want it running on 27747 because I like my 25565 port. So, and as well, there's also something running on 25565, obviously. So, usually the things that are running on that is Minecraft, and I'd rather not have another Minecraft server running on my computer. So, um, for the, you don't, that's pretty much the only thing you need, you need to change. You don't need to change anything else in here. See, in the, the way I know how there is, again, failed to buy port. Bam. So, let's fix that. First, what you gotta do is open up a command prompt, and then you can type in this neat little thing here that I've, you type in, here, let's make this bigger really quick. Net stat dash a dash o. And this will bring up a list of everything running on your computer and the ports that it's using and what's in and what's happening and where. Because sometimes I could open up task manager. Let's see if I can actually get that open right now. Task manager right here. Okay, I have Task Manager open, and it does show me that, uh, of course, I know it's Minecraft, so it's going to be under Java 32. You can close that and reopen your port. If that doesn't work, though, let's say there's something hidden, this is the way to find it. Right here, it'll tell me your IP, what it is, what it was listening, established, and then the application ID, uh, the application ID number that's using it. So let's scroll down here and I can see right here. It's running on my computer on TCP at 25565. There's my computer. The PID number is what I want to remember. So 8460. So once I know that it's 8460, let's write that down some, <laughs> somewhere like that. 8460. Then um, I'll type in this task list forward slash fi quotation p i d space e q and then that that number is what i want so 8460 end it quotation slash f o space list space slash v enter this tells me here that um, it actually tells me see this is java.exe that is actually using that and that's what's binding to my port and who and where it's coming from because let's say you got like two or three different profiles logged in you never know you won't see that in your uh, task manager because it'll be on a different it'll be on a different uh, profile that's logged in so once you have that you know exactly what it is and that's what's running it Java is something that I can stop. I can just get rid of it. So let's go to task kill slash PID and then the um, PID number which is right there 8460 and I can hit enter to kill the process. It can't kill the process sometimes because it says it right here you need to forcefully close it 
depending on what kind of process it is, which is why you check to make sure it is something that you can that you can't actually close without like crashing your computer. So let's just do this. Since it's Java, I know I can forcefully close it and I want to close it. Success. The process with the PID 8460 has been terminated and then I can go back to check it again. Net stat space tac o I mean tac a tac o enter Oop, I spelled it wrong I can go through here and see it now there's nothing running on 25565 anymore so let's get out of that let's get out of that let's open my minecraft folder again let's start up my server on 25565 and there it is Server starts, it works perfectly fine, back on my 25565 port.